<laughs> what? <laughs> That's mental. <laughs> yes, come on. That's actually sick. Starting us off, that I spilt a lemonade on Nico Rosberg at an FIA Awards dinner. Formula One champion Nico Rosberg, you've gone over to his table and you've just chucked a drink all over him. Basically, yeah, yeah. On his brand new shoes, they look great and they had lemonade on them at the end. Did he have to go, go like, dry, dry himself off? Because it was like towards the end of the night, everyone would just have a few drinks and then everyone would leave anyway. So he was pretty chilled and happy at the time because he's obviously just won the championship. So I just got a little napkin. We had a little clean up. You were drying his shoes with a napkin then? No, I gave him the napkin. I'm oh, okay. I'm not gonna get okay. him. That would have been crazy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. clean his shoes, man. What brand of lemonade was it? It was a Sprite. I don't think he would know what lemonade is. I don't, yeah, I don't think he would Do you know, know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's just it gonna be, be in a glass, It would just bro. be there on the table for you to exactly. take. Exactly. FIA Awards, man, it's Sprite. Is it, though? I feel is like, like they back out the Schweppes for that. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Get the real posh one out. It's not a Mmm, I don't know about that. I was actually, I was on it until then. What were you wearing? What was I wearing? Black suit. What brand? Uh, I think it was from Zara, actually. Zara. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know how I'm feeling about Zara, Zara. Mate, to be honest with you. Pep Guardiola over here. Pep um, Guardiola cardigan settings. Yeah, mm. come on. <laughs> Honestly, I, I kid you not, the Sprite has thrown me off. The Sprite has thrown me off the set. I swear the down. Sprite, <laughs> it's like the most irrelevant thing in the whole story. Nah, nah, I don't know. I just don't think they would bring you the bottle at an FIA event, and it also just wouldn't be Sprite. Yeah, I can't picture a bottle of Sprite in someone's hand being poured. What are we saying? Did he spill? A sprite all over Nico Rosberg. <laughs> you seem really fixated on the sprite. I so. am, I am. I'm just not. So, I don't um, know. And then to be honest, I, I'll back you on that. I just don't. It just doesn't sit right with me. And That's I feel like it's a story you, you you would have heard already. If you're thinking about a lie, mate, I'll, I'll, I'll back you on that. I, I'm, I'm backing just the lie, off the, Just off the lemonade, though. That's what we're really literally, ridiculous. there is no other detail whatsoever. <laughs> but, but it is literally just that. <laughs> so uh, for, for me, I think we're going to say, Max, it's a lie. All right, I can now confirm that it is a lie. Yes! <laughs> Come on! I did, on the lemonade. I did get a pick with him, just didn't spill the lemonade on him. Oh, right, okay, fair enough, fair enough. So once I had to sleep in my car overnight because I got locked outside my parents' house. When did this happen? This was a couple <laughs> of years ago. Um, I want to say like, 2017. Do you remember what like kind of month it was? I think December because it was uh, it was like winter time. It was very cold. So that that was also another thing of the car was very cold. I tried to keep it on with the heating, but obviously that wouldn't have been great. Where were your parents? Sorry, I was having a party, a house party at my parents' house, and they weren't there for the weekend. It was like towards the end of the night, and I got locked out, and because everyone was so drunk or like asleep actually because towards the end of the night no one was there to like let me in and i didn't have my keys on me i left it obviously it's a house party so i left them just on but a how counter. did you get in your yeah how your keys did, not on why did you have your car, your car keys? keys on you if you're no no house my house party. keys my house keys why is it not with your car at this keys? point i didn't live with my parents so i have my keys separated like that because there's i don't need my parents house keys usually on me i was outside because I wanted to go and get some more drinks. I was gonna walk to a shop that's right down my road. Why would you go to the shop with your car keys instead of the house keys when you weren't gonna drive? Well, obviously it was the end of the night, so I was quite drunk. I don't want to get more drinks, which is probably a mistake. I just think someone would notice if you wasn't in the house considering yeah, you're, you're having the house the party. Host. No, it was like, a, we're talking like a 20 person house party. Like there was enough people where it's not one of those ones where you might not even see someone the whole night. As far as at my mate's house, before I'd sleep, I'd try to figure out where he was. Would you though? I don't, it's not among us. You're not trying to find where someone is in the house. Like you just, I, I've knocked out before earlier than people. What, so was everyone's phone dead as well? Well, no, it was the fact that everyone just was either going to bed or just already asleep. This is a big fat lie because I know Arab is the most organized person in the world, Neri can vouch. He never goes anywhere without his keys and he yeah. would not leave but his was, phone to go to nah, the nah, shop. Nah. I was, nah, you haven't seen me when I'm very drunk. I become the stupidest person in the room and I forget loads of things. I don't know, 18 people inside and phones nowadays and I don't know, that's literally There's impossible a window to, to burn on, surely. Like... No, no, because no, because I was like, I didn't want to wake anyone up by making a ruckus. I would so if I got locked out of my own house in December. I'd head like dive through the window to make sure I'm not sleeping in my car. Absolute big fat freaking lie. I can confirm 
that it was a lie. Ah, uh, you're too Boom. organized. You're too organized. I did have to sleep in my car once with a mate, but that was out, not out of big locked out just because there were simply not enough beds going around. So we just no slept in way. <laughs> did an ab absent shot and got lost by myself for three hours. And I have no idea where I was or what I was doing. This completely sounds like you, true. I'm going to be totally honest. Like, yeah, th this this has rewritten all over it. So hang on a second. So what happened at the end? Did you make it back to your hotel? Like, did, you, did your friends find you? Like, so, what was the ending? So basically, it was actually on a bar crawl. And um, obviously, I was already quite drunk. And what happened is a stranger gave me a shot. And I've never done absence before. And obviously, I did this. Don't know where I ended up. But I did end up back at the hotel. But it was like... Three-ish, four hours, four hours so later. So this is checking out. I, I feel like this is already just like, I feel like I know this probably happened. What had you been drinking on the night and did it involve Sprite? <laughs> um, not gonna lie, I didn't see the <laughs> the bottles that was getting you. When did you say you found your, your friend found, or what did you, you get, you got back I just somewhere. ended up going back to the hotel. I must have like, you know when you're drunk, you somehow still know like where to go back to hotel wise. What was your friend's concern when you got back? Like, like, what was to the... be fair, like I was quite annoyed because she didn't seem that bothered. <laughs> okay, first of all, are you still friends with this person? Yeah, but they're not like I don't see them much anymore. It was when I was younger. There's some holes in this because I don't. I low key don't there understand. Are some holes, but also they would be holes if you blacked out. You can sober up. I've we've yeah, we've, we've we've both seen plenty of people rally after three hours. Rally the truth. That's why I'm <laughs> just convinced it's just true because it, it's just also a very real story. It does sound like a very real story, actually. Yeah, I, I think it's true. I think it's yeah. True. We'll go for truth. So it is false. Oh, what? <laughs> what? I knew it. if I never had any story about me getting drunk, you'd just believe it. Oh my god, I'm fuming. It wasn't uh, even the fact that it was about you being drunk, it's the fact that you just like were like, yeah, I blacked out. Yeah, blacked out, I like, beef is... you're gonna think it's true. <laughs> my statement is that I am technically Nigerian royalty. I'm gonna go on ancestry.com now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just Google it. <laughs> nah, so like you can be royalty in like the area that you're from rather than like being royalty in like the entire country, I guess. My great grandfather was the king of his area. Now, obviously, my dad moved to England and I grew up in England, so I'm not going to take that on, but technically, I, yeah. When did you find this out? Last week. Yeah, last week, actually. <laughs> uh, today, for this show. No, um, no I, I found it out eight years ago, maybe 10 years ago. What, so you could go back and be royalty? Yeah, 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 technically. I just feel like, I feel like this would have came up in conversation. Yeah, like, if you all lived together, surely you would have heard of this before. Yeah, I've never heard of this. You, you would, would have definitely said this be telling before, the girl when man. you're on a night yeah. out trying to be like, yo, babe, so basically, yeah. Basically, yeah, yeah Nigerian <laughs> royalty, come on. Bring the crown out, I hear You're that. actually chatting to a king right now. Like, <laughs> Surely you would have heard about that before. Who's the kind of king at the moment then, now your your family have left? No, I'm not no out one. Um, I, I honestly, I actually don't know that the answer to that question. Like, I'm not going You don't? Like, so no, I been it to just Nigeria disappeared. Since I was a child. Do you have any other family that are still there? In that area, not particularly. Uh, my uncle used to live there for a bit, but again, he moved here What, what area was it exactly? Uh, it was like in the, the what's sort the of name like of the town area. I actually, it's gonna sound really bad. I actually don't know the name of the town. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I don't think it's true. And if it is though, I'm impressed. Surely this was story would have slipped out at some point. It's a lie, based Me too. off few stutters here and there. You know. Well, I can reveal that it is in fact. True. Yeah, man. Come on. Adeniran. Adeniran means prince. That's uh, actually sick. So it's, it's only a town, and I, to be fair, don't know the name of it. So when you asked that, I was like, oh, shit, I actually don't know. But that played into the fact that I didn't. Oh, did you know that? No, I did not know this. What the fuck? <laughs> that is mental. That's so cool. My statement is that I failed my driving test. So this is your very first test? First test. Um, when was it? Like beginning of 2017. Were you actively ra ra racing still? 2017, I was starting the Euro Cup Championship, so just signed for that. Why did you fail? Was it like one major or too many minors? <laughs> if it was too many it minors, how many It was kind of one minors? moment. It was one moment and it was uh, overtaking. So the whole test was going well. I was kind of speaking to the guy as well, telling him I race and stuff. So 
mm. kind of used to the manual and all that and mm. quite impressed by the smooth gear shifts and the clutch control we're going around this kind of long left corner and there was a cyclist i thought you know what i see a gap we're gonna go for it uh did the overtake the cyclist kind of swerved a bit so i had to avoid him and then uh pulled back in i didn't really think much of it because i felt i was quite far away but apparently my margins are a lot smaller than his to what he feels is safe. Yeah, he failed me on a very dangerous overtake, apparently. If you no longer go for a cap, you're no longer a racing well, driver. That's though, what, so. That was the mindset. Yeah, that, that was what was going through your mind at the time. I do Drop hear the it. clutch and went for it, and we, we nailed the overtake. We got it done. Arav, I'm not a man who can drive. Yeah. So I'm going to have to pass this over to you. The whole near a cyclist checks out because they kind of want you to be very very safe the whole move your head fully left and right to look in the mirrors kind of thing it's telling him you're a you race what was going through your head were you trying to impress him with, with like just telling him like oh like you know this i was just is trying to reassure him yeah because i feel like because i feel like that might actually be the opposite for him i he think might it think... probably was in the end he probably thought i was just winding him up and thought this kid just thinks he's like Hamilton. Sick. Yeah, I um, thought you were going to try and drive like Lewis Hamilton on the I've road. Then I've pulled an outrageous overtake and he's gone, you know what, this kid's okay. not going on the road. What car were you driving for the test? Uh, oh, I think it was like a... Um, it was a Mini Cooper. That's driving an test. odd driving test car. Yeah, that is, that is an odd one. Usually it's like a Vauxhall Corsa. Ford Focus, Fiesta. you know, a kind yeah, of boxy yeah, yeah, yeah. hatchback mm, rather than a hot hatch. It was something like that. It might have been a Ford Focus, actually. Ah, uh, see, oh, it's changing. Guys, I can't yeah. remember. It was a tough day, right, man. Right, right. Interesting. Okay. 2017. Uh, but, you said 2017, no, no, no. right? Okay, my driving lessons were in a Mini Cooper. That's why I said that. Uh, see, um, no, but, but my test was in a folk. My instructor um, ensured that I drove the same car for my test yeah, as I did for learning because they don't want changed. you to get in a car that's too different from what you've learned yeah, on. Yeah, but it's the same. They're both manual and basic stuff. It's not, I've been in a Mini that Cooper. That wasn't going to trick me up. I've been in a Ford Focus. Mm. They're very They're different. They're not the same. They ain't the same. In terms of the, the car that you drove for the test, did it have a cup holder for, say, Sprite, for example? Yes, <laughs> it did indeed have. Just It was just one cup holder, though. You know what, Arav? I actually don't know. I thought key. I thought it could be true, because, you know, just yeah. racing driver taking his test, it makes Fails. sense to be it like, oh, sense. this yeah. is an okay move, but obviously they're very strict about these things. But mm. I just can't get away from the whole different car for the test and learning thing. Are we going to let something extremely minimal sway our decision? No, I think because again? of the precedent we set about the Sprite, I think we kind of have to. <laughs> when we were talking about the Sprite and that last time, Max was going mental. Being like, nah, that's not a reason. Da -da -da -da, trying to sway our decision. Yeah, I've just given time. up because you just you <laughs> did me on Sprite last time, so there's no point defending myself. You got completely wrote off by Sprite. Okay, so yeah, no, lyric, yeah, on that. So let's maybe pick up, let's pick up on that. He's learnt to not lash out on a minor detail. <laughs> 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 Let's go for a lie. Let's, Let's go say for a lie. lie. Bonnet, why not? Well, I can confirm that I did indeed fail my first ah, driving test. Ah, for God's sake. I don't know what car, I can't remember what car it is. It, it was a Ford, I think. And I learned in a mini. I once had a pull, uh, pull an all nighter in uni to hand in an assignment because I was making a very important YouTube video that evening. What YouTube video was it? I don't know if you know, but I used to make this uh, series called My Driver. And it was very important to me. It was like my flagship. In my mind, it was like, this is as important to me as doing my actual uni assignment. So I mm. prioritized that. I managed to upload the video, get it done. Uh, I think it was like 9 p.m. upload and then did the assignment. What year was this? Uh, this was my third year. So it, third it must've been year. 2016. So yeah, it was, it was that, that made important. it kind of worse. Third year, pretty big assignment. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big one. I know you and I know you prioritize YouTube over everything, but then also you're quite organized. Would you leave an assignment that late? to hand in yeah would you so put yourself in that position it was the finale video so it was yeah. like a big 
you know, big ending to the series. We'll get more views than the, the previous ones. Um, so that was very important to me. And it was like one of those assignments that I thought I could get done, you know, quite relatively quick. I was wrong. It was like a bit more of a, oh, okay, this is going to take a couple of hours to actually get done. When did you get to sleep in the end? And when did you wake up again? You didn't sleep in the car. No, no, I didn't sleep in the car. <laughs> no, I got on the, I got on the tube in my back, oh, yeah, rucksack assignment in the bag. And I, it takes an hour from where my parents used to live, that nearest tube stop, straight line across on Central Line um, to my uni. So I slept um, on the tube. Did you get, what grade did you get in your assignment? I think it was like a 2-1, like like it was good enough to be like, oh, you, you've done, not done amazingly, but you've done uh -huh. very well. I, I think it could, I I think believe, it could be true. I believe it, to be honest, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Just because I know how much you put YouTube before yeah. everything, I feel like you would still put it for uni, which is kind of bad, but I feel in my head a lot more important to get handed in. Your YouTube video could have been a day late, just a day late. It's, it was one of those, it was one of those why, ones where... Why did the YouTube video have to go up? I had a schedule in uni where I would upload on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I obviously upload every day now, but back then I had a thing of not uploading on the weekend on Saturday and Sunday because people might be out and doing stuff. I think it's true. Yeah, I was going to say true as well. I think it's true. Okay, I can confirm this statement was... A lie. Uh, you you think I'm not organised enough to get my assignment done way before the hand? I know I did think that, but you the only thing that was switching at the end there was saying it was like a small one that like was kind of like a paper. Yeah, like I, if it was I, like explain it all quite confidently. So to do like, you yeah. need and YouTube at the same time, I have to be on it. Even the small yeah. ones, I got done straight away. The, the thing is though, he does put YouTube before everything, yeah. so that was like that, that element. Even I believe that. I went on a snowboarding trip with uni and ended up getting lost in the mountains, and I. Just I genuinely thought I was gonna die. What was it with you getting lost? Oh, it's always <laughs> getting lost, man. This this woman. Right, so hang on a second. Wait, wait, so wait, wait, wait try, try, what was it? What was the line again? I went on a ski trip with uni, went up the mountains and got lost and genuinely thought I was gonna die. I'm just gonna go straight in here. The first time she said it, she said a snowboard trip. Yeah, okay, so I picked up on that as well. She They're said the a same skiing thing. trip. You know I snowboard. Intrigue. Okay, but it was it one of those trips where it was it one of those trips where you you got there and then you, you were asked what do you want to do skiing or snowboarding? Is that what you're saying? I'd actually already been snowboarding before, so I was always going to do snowboarding. How did you get lost? How, yeah. Explain okay. to us like I'll how... explain the whole story. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on like a pretty basic um, level. It was getting quite late and it was getting a bit darker, but so there was like two routes. So I went on one of them that I thought it had been easier. Turned out that it was the route no one was taking. I was like halfway down it and we came to like a still. My phone was on 1% and it was getting dark and I genuinely could not move and get down. Was there no one like looking out, like sh like a chaperone sort of just not obviously man marking you, but kind of having a look at right, this person, <laughs> these, these, this group's going here and kind no, of checking I mean, like, a uni trip. A uni ship, they do not care when you're out there. With a uni society, there would at least be an element of we should probably not let someone on the trip die. People were still out there. It was obviously just getting like darker. Like maybe if I hadn't turned up at like 10 p.m., then my roommates would have been like, where the fuck is she? How did you get back then if your phone was going to die? I and... genuinely, hand on my heart, never mind, I felt like it's full, but I thought this is the end, like I'm going to die. So I had to walk on the street with my snowboard, which is very hard for like. 20 minutes and then there was like a bit of a slope and there was like a little house like just randomly and i literally had to go knock on their door and they had to take me back how did they take you back um on the little like the little bikes that they have like the little quad bikes i am I'm not gonna lie one, Aaron. Aaron. yeah the, the thing is she's delivering it with passion talking about how like she was like oh yeah this could be the end whatever however why was there just a quad bike in a random house in the snow? These are the questions I'm asking. Yeah, and also I just the, unless she moves the, the, the snow bikes, you know, snow bikes they have. There's the convenience of obviously clear. Yes, of course your phone was on one percent at the same mm. time, and also we got hoodwinked the last time when she said she got lost. Ah, uh, yeah, but the last one. I think she knows it's false. an easy thing to get us uh, hooked in to be true. I uh, know, but the last one was a lie. What if this is a true? Um, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go. For me, I think it might be a lie, but I don't know about you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm good with backing a lie here. Right. We'll go for we're it. Gonna, we'll go for a lie. We're gonna go for a lie. We're gonna go for a go lie. Go for a lie. Um. So first off, Niran, that is Snow Sports Society. 
that oh, I was in. Fuming. And this oh, is really true. Oh. Oh. I genuinely, oh. Hannah, my heart thought I was going to die and my favourite was on 1%. I knew the way she was saying it was like legit. I could but tell I can promise I've like... got a lot better now. <laughs> I've got a lot better snowboard and I don't go by myself. When I was in year eight in PE, I won my year's annual pencil rolling competition. Pencil rolling, is that even a thing? Basically, you lie down like a pencil, yeah? So you lie on the floor, you put your arms in the air, yeah, you put your arms like that and you just, and you just roll. For like- For some time. reason, oh, I just I thought believe you actually thought this. of a pencil. I genuinely thought I was pitching a pencil being pushed. No, I am rolling. I am the one. You that's, are that's the pencil. pencil. Yeah, yeah, I am the pencil. Was it like a downhill track or kind of flat surface? Oh, this year, downhill track would have been crazy, but no, it was just a flat surface. Where, it's just where like did a gymnasium, you do this? like a gym hall. Didn't... Max, can I ask you a question? Mm. Have you ever in your life done this in PE? Up until the point I was in school, I never done a pencil rolling. No, race. so you know no. what it is. Um, I, I do understand, like, yeah, maybe some schools don't do it, but like this weird tradition that like they just had at the school. Right. Yeah, it was just like a tradition they had at the school. That was a weird Like a bit of a jokey thing. thing or whatever. And then every year everyone would just get down, do a pencil roll, boom, I won it one year. Well, did you win anything? Yeah, they gave me a pencil, uh, which I thought was quite funny. This ain't true, man. That can't be true. If this is a lie, yeah, this is the weirdest lie I've ever I know. Thought, like in I the world. I feel like it's thrown me so much. All right, I'm going with a lie because I just think that's weird. Oh, I just feel like this is so weird that it could be true. I know. Well, how'd you even think of this off the top of your head? This is a wind up, man. <laughs> Are you serious? What? The only thing that makes me think it's true is because he's brought it up. Like, there's no way I would think of this off the top of my head. I really want to say true, but I'm going to go with Rhea because. Oh, no, don't put it on me. No, 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 because you, you know, Niren. Okay, we'll go with a lie. I can confirm, ladies and gentlemen. This was a lie. Yeah, I just thought of this off the top of my head. Not gonna lie. You're a weirdo. Oh, did you think? Yeah, that? I was just thought. I was just trying to That's think of these mental. How you like thought the of that weirdest. Off the top of your head. Yeah, the weirdest possible thing that would make like literally Max, you were going down the lines I wanted you yeah. to do of like. This is so weird that it might be true. Yeah, that's the owner. I was like, there's no way I could think of this off the top of my head. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy this one, feel free to slap a like on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let us know down in the comment section who you would like us to play Would I Lie to You with next time around. Until then, we'll see you next time. Adios.